Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name's Nicole. You might know me online as Vegan Beauty Girl. We have just landed in Dublin. There's me and my boyfriend Tom. We have about like 48 hours in the city and we're going to show you what to eat, drink, do as vegans in Dublin. Having lunch in Cornucopia. I went for a like broccoli soup, which looks really lovely, and Tom went for a wrap. But yeah, we're looking forward to tucking in. So we're at the Guinness storehouse. This has been at the top of our list of things to do in Dublin. I have wanted to come to this place for a really long time, ever since I started like Guinness. I've never had Guinness in Ireland, I've never been to Ireland before, and apparently here it's meant to taste a hundred times better than it does in the UK. So I'm really excited for that. And also, Guinness is now vegan and has been for about two years or so, which means that Nicole has got no excuse for not trying it. So we're gonna try it. going to Saver Vegan Butcher for dinner tonight. I have had great recommendations from everyone about this place and they do quite high quality vegan food, completely vegan, so really excited about this. Just 
had lunch at the Beastie the Beast Eatery. They do like vegan chicken food and it was incredible. It was so so good. It's it's a bit out of the town centre, but where's it near Tom? The Guinness Storehouse. It's near the Guinness Storehouse. So if you are heading to the Guinness Storehouse and want to get a meal either side of it, hugely recommend it is quite casual food, it's fast food, but it's still really fresh and really delicious. And the hot sauce. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> and the hot sauce has healing powers. My ear popped and it really helped it recover. And my nose has been blocked pretty much all day. And the hangover, Tom. I don't have a hangover. Not anymore. But yeah, the hot sauce is incredible. Go there. So we are at the Dublin Flea Market. This happens on the last Sunday of every month. Online it says that it supports sustainability and entrepreneurship, so I'm hoping to see a lot of secondhand finds here and a lot of startup businesses too. So we'll see. And look, the sun's just come out. We've been gifted a stay at the Merry in Dublin. They reached out to me earlier this year and invited me down to try out their new vegan menu in the garden room. This room is absolutely gorgeous. We're so impressed with the hotel. It's really right in the heart of Dublin. There are some great sites around, a lot of green space, and also the National Gallery and Museum is right by here. It's a really, really great location. If we were here a bit longer, they have some nice bikes that you can borrow downstairs. So um, you can borrow the bikes and also book a picnic which they'll set you up with and that would be actually really nice and romantic. If you are in Dublin for a nice romantic break, maybe for an anniversary perhaps, this would actually be a really really great hotel to visit. But yeah, I'm going to show you around the room. We have a really lovely spacious seating area. We've also got some really lovely complimentary fruit here which is absolutely delicious. We've got the mini bag. I mean don't these look quite fun. We've got all the other amenities up here. <laughs> we have a massive King size bed. <laughs> Good selection of teas. This is always very important. Is that a shoehorn? This is fancy. Let's go to the bathroom. We have a really, really lovely shower and the bath is massive. I have bought a lush bath bomb to enjoy in here and I've got one of these like really big mirrors that really um, makes you feel a little insecure about your skin but helps you put on makeup, I guess. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful, room and I can't wait to try out the menu later. Yeah, thank you the Marion for the invite. Coming to the end of our stay in Dublin, this is our final day. Our flight tonight is around 7pm. We've got a bit of a morning, lunch, brief afternoon left in the city. I, I just want to address that. There may not seem like we've done a lot during this city break, but this is our weekend. We've both come from London, a very busy city, so it's actually been really nice to take the time, walk out whilst the temperature's been really mild, and um, just take a slower pace, really. We didn't want to cram everything into an itinerary. It was actually really important to us to 
kind of keep things a bit more casual and relaxed and still have a bit of downtime whilst enjoying this really vibrant city. One thing that has concerned us is that we've yet to go to a Temple Bar, which is like one of the must-dos of Dublin. So we're going to head to the bars, I think this afternoon, just for our flights probably. We've had a really lovely stay here at the Marion. And dinner last night was lovely. We're just about to head downstairs for breakfast. That is like turmeric tofu scramble which looks just like egg scramble in here. We have aubergine, bacon, that looks incredible, some sauteed spinach, avocado, we've got like tomato and portobello mushroom. And there's my sourdough toast. But yes, let's dig in. So we have just checked out of the Marion. We are um, just finishing off by going to the National Gallery and Marion Square and a few other places around the area. Weather's not that great, but it's all right. So all the museums and galleries in Dublin are free and it's a really good way to spend time if you're on a budget or if the weather isn't too great. 